Next up in eBay's Department of Optimistically Unrealistic Images is the LED small lamp. And a quick look on this uh, on the internet, a reverse image search for this shows that this is apparently a stock photo that they have superimposed their own little light onto and a telltale in thing here. Well, apart from the price, which is unrealistically low for a big stage light, is the wires coming at the bottom are actually the mains in, in going wires and it is just a couple of cores. Let's take a look at the lights in question because there's two of them. Uh, it comes in a little universal box that you've got the black, white or yellow type. You can choose 1 watt or 3 watt. I'm guessing 3 watt might overheat. And you can choose between red, green, blue, yellow, white and ultraviolet or near ultraviolet. I got a couple. I got one this in the style that's actually shown in the box here. But I also got the one that is shown on the listing. And, you know, it looks all right. It looks the part. It would be all right as a little ceiling spotlight. I shall stick that box out the way. Uh, this one is slightly disappointing. Let's just zoom down on this. In terms of its electrical isolation or termination of the cable, because uh, it really is, you can see the little power supply module in there just dangling. I think these are 240. We're about to find out. I'm about to stuff them into a 240 volt connection. They might not be 240. I shall bring in the hoppy. Let's start with uh, this one. And I'll tell you what the beam quality is like out of it. Uh, this one is notable. This one seems to have the total internal reflection lens. It's very common for uh, this sort of standard 1 watt, 3 watt LEDs. This one actually has a little reflector, so I'm kind of intrigued to see what's actually inside it. I shall pop these wires in here. I shall uh, get that into mid position. I shall plug it in. And we can see um, it's pink. I thought that was going to be ultraviolet. It is pink and it's just creating a big splash of light. It's not really creating a focused beam. It is fairly wide and it doesn't actually look very linear, does it? Hold on. Uh, pointing it straight down. Eh, I suppose it's not too bad. The clue, of course, was the LED itself. It's that, it's that purple LED that's used for hydroponics. The power is 1.3 watts. Power factor is 0.457, which you'd expect. Nothing really radical. It's just a 1 watt LED driver. Okay, let's try the other one. And then we'll open them both and see what the construction's like inside. Not sure about this one. It looks as though everything goes in from the front and it might be glued. This might be destructive, but you know, that's what we do. This one is green. Um, power... Dissipation 1.2 watts, so losses plus a 1 watt driver, uh, 0.45, yep, just the same thing, it's probably the same thing. Oh, that produces the weirdest splash of light in the wall, it looks like a Pac-Man. I'm not sure if you're going to see this. Oh, you are, can see it. That's not a very consistent, uh, you know, that's not a very good con collimated beam as such. Right, tell you what, I shall unplug them. We've now ascertained they are 1 watt, to be honest, those plastic package packages, I wouldn't really trust them at a higher power. Let's start with this one. Now, they're very, very stiff in these frames, but this is good because uh, I think these are designed to be screwed onto a wall, and it's a very, very small decorative light. Uh, but it is stiff enough to hold its position. What about this one? This one's also pretty stiff to hold its position. Okay, right, let's see if I can get it out. I may need a screwdriver to pop this out. Where is a screwdriver? There's a screwdriver. Is this going to come out? It feels like it's actually clipped in. Oh, it really is clipped in. Is there a particular direction it has to be before it gets levered out? I don't think so. I think it's just brute force. Brute force may win, may not win, actually. I may have to just split this one apart. I don't, I'm not sure this comes apart. I don't think there's screws or anything there. I think this really is just physically snapped in. I may have to go and get a bigger screwdriver. Oh, no, no, there we go. It is just clipped in. Oh, oh blimey, that is really tight. One moment, please. Let's uh, get reinforcements in the form of a pair of long nose pliers. There we go. Yeah, that is really tight. Okay, now this should hopefully split into two parts. Or is it glued? Let's spudger it. I think it's clipped. Oh, there we go. So what do we have? 
the LED is just placed into a little holder here with the lens, a little bit of uh, plastic in the front, the little reflector. Um, yeah, there's not really much to that, is it? And then the driver, the little open driver, which let's see if it's holding a charge. No, it's not. Uh, which will be based, based around a sort of generic bright powerish type chip. Oh, yeah, that's easy to read. 76DKL9HORK. It's one of those generic -y chips, but it does everything. Um, okay, let's take a look at the other one. And this one could be harder to open because I get the feeling that this is glued in. So I'm going to try and get the spudger down the side here and see if it's either a locking ring or the lens is just actually physically clicked in the front. I have a horrible feeling it's going to end up a bit destructive. It is, I'm pretty sure that might be glued in. It won't be the time I've finished with it. Oh, hold on. So we've got a... Actually, you know, that's an absolutely standard... Uh, well, I was going to say it's an absolute... Hold on, let's get this out completely from the back. Oh, the actual... The legs at the side are actually stopping the driver from coming through. Oh, there we go. So it looks like a fairly standard press-on type lens, but it's got this little clip at the back. Let's get that off. Is that slightly smaller than a typical Luxian? I would say this is... Oh no, they're both a similar size. Do I have a Luxian in the vicinity? I don't have a Luxian immediately in the vicinity. Hold on one moment, I'm just going to grab a full-size Luxian. And back with a full-size Luxian. Um, it's a generic Luxian-ish type clone. It's the same size. Okay. So you can swap the LEDs in these, but I have to say the beam quality is terrible. I think that's possible because this was uh, just a skewed at an angle. That is... That's not nice. That is rubbish. Uh, but there we go. I think ultimately they're just sort of basically decorative items. If this was charged, it's discharged now. I'm going to guess it's got a similar chip in it. 76DJL9HOXK. Is this the same sort of thing here? So they're, you know, uh, for what they are, they're not that expensive. They're an interesting little novelty, but the quality isn't that great. The beam quality isn't that great. The sort of heat dissipation is going to be typically what you'd expect in these. Um, and I think the thing that really sort of lets these down a bit is this sort of beam quality. But as a visual effect on your ceiling with just a, a splash of light coming out that might not be too bad. Given the sloppiness at the back of this one, the fact it doesn't really focus properly, I think my choice, if I had to choose one of these... Yeah, that's just not a good idea at all. It's almost like it's designed to go onto... Clip onto a circuit board over one of these, these LEDs, but not have the solder terminations, because they're actually keeping this off. But my choice would be the one that's actually shown in the front of their image, because it looks more stylish. And although it's just that sort of basic reflector that splatters the light everywhere, it does at least sort of put out a good splash of light and it looks the part. But there you go. Your little mini sort of uh, stage type lights, I guess, themed lights for your ceiling.